please subscribe. If you're in the market for a 5-seat compact crossover SUV, or at least some combination of those attributes, the 2018 Toyota RAV4 is almost certainly on your list. After all, it's one of the best-selling cars on the road, a crossover as likely to be seen in Portland, Oregon, as it is Portland, Maine. It deserves its popularity, at least for the most part. We rated the 2018 RAV4 at 7.1 out of 10 points because of its roominess, its ride quality, and its high level of standard safety equipment. The 2018 RAV4 was offered in LEM, SE, Adventure, XLE, Limited, and Platinum trim levels with a choice of front or all-wheel drive. This year, the RAV4 can look a little tougher if the right options are selected. The new RAV4 Adventure trim level adds a modest suspension lift to both front and all-wheel drive versions. It's not actually any more buff than before, but the roughly half inch of extra clearance should help it tackle trails, and maybe curbs, a little better than before. It's joined by newly optional heated seats on the XLE trim level. Additionally, a ruby flame pearl paint color has been added to the palette. All versions of the RAV4 come standard with the 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine made it to a six-speed automatic, while the sporty SC and Swanky Limited are available with a more powerful and efficient hybrid powertrain that pairs to a continuously variable transmission. Gas-only RAV4s are offered in front and all-wheel drive, while all hybrids are fitted with the sophisticated electronic all-wheel drive system to send power to each wheel. The RAV4 rides comfortably and muffles out most road and wind roar, but non-hybrid models can feel pokey compared to rivals' turbocharged engines. RAV4s are available in a wide array of trim levels to fit any budget, but a fully loaded model can top $35,000. No matter how much you spend, they'll net some important safety tech as standard like automatic emergency braking, automatic high beam headlights, and adaptive cruise control. The 2018 Toyota RAV4 is distinctive, but not altogether cohesive. This year's adventure trim level further muddies the waters. We figure it sets the bar for average in its segment, leading it to a 5 out of 10 for styling. Read more about how we rate cars. The 2018 RAV4's basic shape dates back a few years, to the 2013 model year, which means it has become a familiar sight on the road. It was updated for 2015 and carries into 2018 unchanged. A pinched front grille and narrow headlights give the RAV4 an avian look. From the side, its belt line swoops upward after the rear door to create the large rearmost roof rail that adds bulk but also cuts into visibility from the driver's seat. It's the RAV4's rear that seems most disjointed. There's almost a shelf created by its chunky taillights that jut outward above a bulging rear end. Even base model rav 4 look reasonably dressy with their standard 17-inch alloy wheels, but only the rav 4 SE and Platinum trim levels are available with a monochromatic look instead of the unpainted rocker panel and wheel flare trim seen on the rest of the lineup. Inside, the rav 4 is similarly cluttered. Its dashboard is upright and puts climate and audio controls at the top of the center stack, but secondary switches are tucked low and are hard to reach. A range of interior shades are on offer, but none elevate the RAV4's inner trappings to those of the Honda CR-V or Mazda CX-3. The 2018 Toyota RAV4 offers a tepid, but relaxed driving experience. It's not especially fun, but it's fairly quiet and delivers composed confident handling. We rated it a 6 out of 10 for its good ride quality. Read more about how we rate cars. Most rav 4 s feature a 2.5-liter and line 4 rated at 176 horsepower, but a 194 horsepower hybrid is also available. The non-hybrid RAV4 pairs its 4-cylinder engine to a 6-speed automatic. It's smooth and refined and less pressed hard, but it doesn't offer the oomph of extra-cost turbocharged engines and rivals like the Ford Escape and Subaru Forester. 
The RAV4 Hybrid can scoot to 20 miles per hour on electric power alone, but only if driven gingerly. It's a fairly high-tech two-motor setup that combines a 2.5-liter gas engine similar to the non-hybrid with the 50 kW, 67 horsepower, electric motor that powers the rear wheels when needed. It's a boon for both wintry and slippery conditions and for straight-line acceleration since its 8.1 second 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint is the fastest of any RAV4. Generally speaking, the RAV4 hybrid is just as refined as the standard model, but its engine does emit a tortured howl under heavy acceleration. Still, it's the only hybrid crossover on the market. Gas-only RAV4s are available with sunbelt-friendly front-wheel drive. All-wheel drive is an option on all models, even the new, raised suspension RAV4 Adventure. All RAV4 hybrids are all-wheel drive. The all-wheel drive system on gas models can split power between the front and rear axles at the press of a button at speeds below 25 miles per hour, something that's useful if you're headed to work and the snow plows haven't reached your street yet. With 6.5 inches of running ground clearance, the new RAV4 Adventure is not meant for heavy-duty off-road use like some competitors. All versions of the RAV4 ride well, especially LA and XLE models with their 17-inch alloy wheels. The RAV4 SE boasts a slightly stiffer suspension than other models, but it's hardly punishing. We've not yet driven the RAV4 Adventure but we'll update this space when we know more. The RAV4's three-spoke, thick-rimmed steering wheel hints at handling tenacity, but no model is especially entertaining. The RAV4's steering is light on center and delivers little road feel to the driver. The 2018 Toyota RAV4 offers good interior room and solid build quality. It merits an 8 out of 10 on our scale. Front seat passengers are treated to chair-like thrones that offer good support. We like both the fabric and synthetic leather options, but find that the baseless manual adjusters can be a little cumbersome. A new addition this year is the option of heated and power adjustable fabric seats on the RAV4 XLE, they're highly recommended. Only a steering wheel that doesn't telescope far enough to the driver's stance as a demerit up front. The RAV4's second row offers decent space for outboard passengers, but they're flat and not particularly well contoured. Unlike a handful of rivals, there's no third row in the RAV4. Although the previous generation of this crossover offered one that was suitable for children. A low load floor makes tossing cargo aboard easy. There's 38.4 cubic feet of space available with the second row upright and a hefty 73.4 cubes with the second row folded. The RAV4 is nicely screwed together, but few of its materials impart an upscale feel. That's alright at the and XLE price points but the $35,000 plus commanded by the RAV4 Platinum should at least deliver real leather upholstery and a few more soft touch panels. On the other hand, the RAV4 does an admirable job of muffling the outside world. Since this generation's introduction, Toyota has added more sound deadening and installed acoustic glass around the front passenger compartment. The 2018 Toyota RAV4 offers competitive, but not class-leading fuel economy, unless you opt for the pricey RAV4 hybrid. We rated the 2018 RAV4 line up with 7 out of 10 points for its efficiency, but you'll want to shop carefully if it's a miserly crossover year after. Some versions of the RAV4 are less thirsty than others. rav 4 and XLE trim levels are the most efficient among non-hybrids at 23 miles per gallon city. 30 highway, 26 combined with front wheel drive and 22 28 25 of a mile per gallon with all wheel drive, 